Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and today I wanted to talk about the Ford Ranger XL Sport that I was driving for the month of June. Now the Ford Ranger XL Sport is a new car in the lineup of Ford Rangers and this is a 2.2 litre 6 speed automatic and it hosts a bunch of different new features that I really love. They have blacked out the grille as well as the rear view mirrors and black rims as well as adding a sports bar or a back bar to the car which makes it look even better. This version of the car was lined with a black bin liner which allowed me to throw whatever I needed to throw in there and made cleaning and spraying it down that much easier. I did two major trips in this car. First up the west coast where we were able to drive on some incredible dirt roads as well as go up the east coast and go all the way up to Plett which is the video you guys have just seen from last week. Both of these directions, the east and the west coast, allowed us to test the comfort and drivability of the car as well as to see how it did off-road on gravel roads as well as on the tar on these long stretches. It was unbelievable the comfort in the car and everything in the car including the audio as well as the entertainment center was absolutely incredible. It was Apple CarPlay for the most part so that was easy to just plug the phone in and we were able to connect and this allowed us to enjoy the time on the road and travel in comfort and style. So the first trip I went on as I got the car was up the west coast. This allowed us to test those 17 inch rims on some big big tires and it made that trip so much more comfortable and just understanding how the car worked and changing from too high to four high allowed us to get to some spots that were insane for bodyboarding. We spent three days up there camping and traveling around that coast and we scored some unbelievable waves. It was able to take all the gear that we needed for five guys. We loaded that all up in the back and we were able to travel the whole way up there and the whole way back. In between these two trips I went on a 4x4 course with Rosie. This 4x4 course is specifically set up for new Ford drivers. This is in the Ford Ranger, the Ford Raptor and the Ford Everest range. This is something that I think is really cool and an experience that I think a lot of new drivers should really go and do. showed us how to use the car in those off-road situations and when to change certain dials on the car and how it all works. For myself and Rosie it was insane to learn all the features about the car. The guys gave an amazing display of how the car is used in different situations and what features work when you are stuck in different places. It was awesome to see how many people were out there. There was about 24 different vehicles that were at this 4x4 course and it just shows you that these cars are meant to be driven off-road and this course was perfect to show you exactly how to use the car when driving off-road. The last trip that I did was up the east coast to Plettenberg Bay.
Now, although I wasn't driving off-road, it's so awesome to drive in a vehicle that sat so nicely on the road and was so comfortable inside the car. It was raining, there was wind, it was cold, yet the Ford Ranger XL Sport just plowed through all of that and allowed us to really get the most out of this trip. Again, I was traveling with another three people and just throwing all our bags, boards, and all the other stuff that we needed for this trip in the back and not worry about it just made life that much easier. That gave us so much space in the car to just kind of do what we need to, keep all the camera equipment safe and dry, and that was something that I really appreciated about this vehicle. There's just so much space in the car to carry whatever you need to to those places that you want to travel. And this for me, I felt was the perfect vehicle for my lifestyle as you could just throw all the sandy or dirty or wet stuff in the back and then you could be nice and dry and clean and comfortable in the front. While this is still the base model for the Ford Ranger XL Sport, I really enjoyed all the features that this car had. It was perfect for what I wanted to do and this fits my lifestyle so nicely that I really didn't want to give the car back. There was just one small issue that I really need to touch on and if you are considering buying this car and you do a lot of long traveling, this might not be the vehicle for you because it did not have any cruise control. Driving without cruise control on those long stretches makes it very difficult to manage your speed. Now, in saying this, I still did get 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers in this 2.2 liter engine, which I think for a four wheel drive Bucky is really, really good. So once again, I would just like to thank Ford South Africa for allowing me to take this vehicle and live my lifestyle and it just made things that much easier. I'm super stoked with the opportunity to get to drive these vehicles, test them out and see if they work for me. This one for sure did. This car still drove amazingly well. It was super comfortable. It looks real damn good. And I am just so fortunate and so lucky to have this opportunity to take this vehicle to the places that I love to go and just live my life exactly how I would. If you guys like this video, please leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions about this car, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.